Welcome back, kid. So, you ready? Rogue should be here any minute. Okay, one more time. Just gonna talk to Rogue about Smasher, right? Then you'll hand me the wheel, hop back in the passenger seat. That is the plan. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. You might even enjoy it. Actually, regretting this already. We're gonna strum her guilt and squeeze her for favors. Remind her all about how she left you to die in Sokka Tower. First, she was sure I was dead already. Second, I'd never do that to her. Don't have to. What? You gonna use your charm? Rogue's never said no to me. Ever. Okay. I'm ready. About fucking time. Oh. Look a little different. Fuss with your hair or... Good to be back. Never knew you'd gone off somewhere. What's your poison? Tequila old fashioned. Top it up with beer and sprinkle in some chili. Silverhand special. Been a while since anyone ordered that. Cassius Ryder. You mean anything to you? Mm-hmm. Tattoo guy. How do you know the name? We go back. Where'll I find them? Got a salon in Watson, Pershing Street. So what'll it be? Billy Goat or the other one? Billy Goat. More my style. She's gonna love it. <laughs> sure she will. Jeremiah Grayson. Hmm. Heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Yeah. Could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins. Sloppy second for Grayson. After I banged her. You've heard about me? Let's get out of here. Tell you what I heard. Then you'll show me if I'm right. I just got a little biz to take care of first. Yo! 
Take your fucking paws off Ruby. She ain't going anywhere with you. She's on that clock. Got it? Fuck, I missed this. Be waiting outside. You waiting for me? Let's go back to my place. Where to? Martin Street. But take the long way. Look good on you. Got a light? I'll call. I'll call. Ruby, focus. I need to talk to Grayson. Hello, Night City. <laughs> Spit blood first thing every morning. <sighs> Talk about something else, please. Sure. First time you walked up, since there was something familiar about you. Blah, blah, Johnny told you. Don't seem surprised. But surprised, but not anymore. You probably don't remember. Got flashes here and there. Not everything, thank God. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought, cute kid. Too bad she's gone completely whacked. <sighs> Came to see for yourself, huh? Morbid curiosity. Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. That feels weird, <laughs> this. You knowing about Johnny? Face is changing, you know. Still look like V, but that mean smirk, I'd know it anywhere. How he talks, moves, how he smokes. <laughs> I don't smoke. I know. Could never confuse you two. So sleep soundly. Smasher, he, he tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait... Grayson? Jeremiah Grayson. Works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonike. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Know what Smasher's been up to all this time? Disappeared after the Sokka Tower assault in 2023. All thought he was gone for good. Then suddenly reappeared. Did a few Mondo jobs for Arasaka, then went right back to ground. Nobody's seen him in years. Except Grayson, apparently. Can I help at all? In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. Paulo buzz you when I learn something. Okay.
Unbelievable that bastard somewhere in your head. Supposed to talk to Rogue. Did talk to her. <sighs> the stripper. Empathy brawl. Tattoo. All required, man. Had to give Rogue something real, didn't I? Ebunike? A lead on Grayson, supposed to be a lead on Smasher? Lead to lead? That's real? Real enough for Rogue. Quit mumble whining and let's Delta. Place. place where you can puke all over the carpet, no problem. Beggar, not chooser. So, feeling better? No.
Seabug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. So you are V. I'm sure you heard what happened. Real shame. She left a demon for you. A gift from beyond the grave. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a Militech Paraline. Think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. T-Bug's death. What did you hear? The truth. She got burned. Like anyone who tries to hit Arasaka. They found the body in her pad. Nervous system fried. You know what that feels like? Can't say I do. They say it's like a hundred thousand knives stabbing you at once. I can't imagine a worse way to go. Poor girl. I liked her, too. Got anything noble for sale? We've got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. The... Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow? Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. 
Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. I want to take part in the ceremony, but I want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm hmm. But something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that it do justice to his memory, I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there. I'm sure. Won't oh, mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. You here alone? I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe. That's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered. But I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. <laughs> he was so psyched. So full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Locked. 
Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. <laughs> Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Found it. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. An aquarium? They used to be tacos. And taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, Minnie. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Nice still.
Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your ofrenda, but we could look around a little more. Taking this, yeah, perfect for Jackie. <laughs> This'll be fitting. Where are you going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. Hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me 
mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh, I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more and never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind on something. He was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching. Bet just about now he's flipping them all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. <laughs> you sure? Jackie'd kill me if I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Campos all torn Told out. you another? Says For Jaquito. Like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll see Valentino's torn up haven't forgotten about Jackie. Oh, Days like this, even something. the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. This what kept him going. Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister. Weird, being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar, in his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Psst. 
Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. Yeah. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Jackie, did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the meeting happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Sucks to meet like this, huh? Farewells aren't that bad once you get used to them. Have you gotten used to them? When you get to my age, friends don't come and go. They just mostly go. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V.